In recent years, talent mobility in the field of technology has become one of the focuses of international attention. In particular, the return of Turing Award winner and computer scientist Yao Chiji to China has sparked widespread discussion. Yao Chiji, a native of Shanghai, China, and a recipient of the Turing Award, is a genius scientist driving computer research in China. At nearly 60 years old, he did something significant. He sold his house in the United States and returned to China with all his belongings. This action dealt a heavy blow to the U.S.'s technological sanctions against China, leading to a saying that the biggest regret America has is letting Yao Chiji return to China. Some people are curious, why did Yao Chiji suddenly make this move? Dear audience, welcome back to our channel. How did Yao Chiji's return to China impact U.S. technological sanctions? We know that in recent years, the United States has implemented a series of sanctions against Chinese technology companies in an attempt to restrict China's development in the technology field. However, with more and more Chinese scientists like Yao Chizhi returning home, the effectiveness of these sanctions may be affected. Because their return is not only a choice for their personal careers, but also influences the competition between China and the United States in technology. Their return will inject new vitality into China's technological research and development, helping China achieve independent and controllable technology in key areas. Professor Yao Chiji is dedicated to theoretical research in computing and has made significant contributions to cryptography and quantum computing. At the same time, he actively engages in cutting-edge theoretical and practical research in artificial intelligence and financial technology. In 2000, Professor Yao was awarded the Turing Award, becoming the only Chinese scholar to receive this honor to date. Currently, he is a member of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, a foreign member of the National Academy of Sciences and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, and serves as the Dean of the Institute for Interdisciplinary Information Sciences at Tsinghua University. Yao Chiji was born in Shanghai in December 1946 and moved to Taiwan with his parents at a young age, with unclear memories of China. Since childhood, he has loved reading and once dreamed of becoming a doctor who could save lives. However, by chance, he borrowed a book about Einstein from the library. Despite the complex and incomprehensible theoretical content, Yao Chiji persisted in reading the entire book, which made him extremely excited and deeply attracted to the greatness of physics. This triggered his determination for his future academic career, even if he couldn't reach the heights of Einstein, he would strive towards physics. This decision ultimately led him to choose physics as his major. In 1967, Yao Cheji graduated from the Department of Physics at National Taiwan University and went to the United States for further studies. In 1972, after obtaining a PhD in physics from Harvard University, he switched to computer science, inspired by the prospects of the future and the advice of his girlfriend, Chu Feng. In 1973, he entered the University of Illinois to study computer science and obtained a PhD in computer science with outstanding research results within two years. Yao Chiji taught at universities such as MIT, Stanford, and Berkeley and made outstanding contributions to the field of computer science. He has published many important papers, especially in algorithms, complexity theory, cryptography, and quantum computing, achieving unique achievements. Therefore, he won the Turing Award, which is equivalent to the Nobel Prize in Computer Science and became the first Asian to receive this honor. In 2004, Yao Cheji decided to resign from his position as a tenured professor at Princeton and returned to China for development, giving up the comfortable life abroad and responding to the invitation of Yang Jining, returning home with his family. At his farewell lecture at Princeton University, Yao Cheji expressed his deep affection for China and hoped to serve China with his knowledge. His wish was to cultivate scientific research talents in China and give back to his motherland and people. After returning home, in order to realize his wish, Yao Cheji joined Tsinghua University's Advanced Research Center as a full-time professor. At Tsinghua, Yao Cheji established a group of visiting professors. He used his connections to gather no less than 10 famous scientists to teach at Tsinghua. The strong faculty attracted numerous talented youths, 
but due to limited spots, many top scorers in the college entrance examination were still rejected. Professor Yao Chiji focused on undergraduate teaching and established the Yao Chiji class, which aimed to broaden students' horizons with active thinking and interest-oriented English teaching. Initially, students had difficulty adapting, but later they focused more on interest rather than scores. Nevertheless, to further cultivate top talents, Yao cooperated with Microsoft in 2015 to establish the computer science experimental class at Tsinghua, known as the Yao class, training numerous outstanding talents in the computer field. At Tsinghua, being able to enter Yao Chiji's class is considered a great honor. He emphasizes that to become an excellent scientist, one must first have good character. In 2019, Tsinghua won the championship in the global professional rankings, and Yao Chiji's contribution cannot be ignored. After returning home, he promoted the development of computer science in China. In 2020, he founded the Tsinghua Artificial Intelligence Class, Xi Class, hoping to cultivate local talents and keep China synchronized or ahead in the field of AI. To this end, he personally went to many foreign universities for interviews and formed a teaching team. Yao Chiji, this name shines brightly in the field of computer science like a star. He not only serves as the chief professor of the Xi class, but also consistently insists on teaching students personally, imparting his rich knowledge and profound understanding to the next generation. In his eyes, the research and development of artificial intelligence in China are facing two major challenges, first, the lack of systems for innovative interdisciplinary applications, second, the lack of breakthrough research in algorithms and theory. In order to solve these problems, in 2011, Yao Chezi resolutely established the Tsinghua Quantum Information Center and the Institute for Interdisciplinary Information Sciences. The establishment of these two institutions marks his foresight in promoting interdisciplinary cooperation. The Tsinghua Institute for Interdisciplinary Information Sciences he created has proven its strong strength in this field. Yao Chizhi deeply understands that under the background of modern technological development, the rapid advancement of artificial intelligence cannot be separated from the mutual penetration and integration of different disciplines. Therefore, the establishment of the Xi class is logical, nurturing generations of computer science talents for China. As a scholar who has made outstanding contributions to computer science, Yao Chiji gave up his foreign nationality in 2017 and returned to the embrace of his motherland, officially becoming a member of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. This move is not only his personal return to his homeland but also a deep belief and tribute to the five-star red flag. At that time, the Yao class he founded had already gained international fame, becoming a benchmark in computer science education. Professor Yao Chiji's return to China symbolizes a spirit, a call. His actions inspire more top talents to follow in. His footsteps and return to their homeland. They share a common belief, if Yao Chiji can come back, what reason do we have to hesitate? Although he is now 77 years old, Professor Yao Chiji is still full of vitality. He has not stopped advancing due to his age. On the contrary, he is still with young students every day, constantly exchanging ideas and inspiring inspiration. He uses what he has learned throughout his life to tirelessly explore new paths for China's computer science career, paving the way for the future. His spirit and achievements have become the model and driving force for generations of Chinese computer scientists. Finally, let me summarize today's video. I hope it brings you some inspiration and value. From the video, it can be seen that the true motives behind Professor Yao Cheji's return to China mainly include two aspects, patriotism and a sense of responsibility for China's scientific and technological development. As a Chinese-American scientist who has achieved great success overseas, Yao Chiji is full of concern and expectations for China's technological development. His decision to give up the comfortable life in the United States and return to China is because he hopes to contribute to China's scientific and technological undertakings and fulfill his responsibility to cultivate Chinese scientific and technological talents. Additionally, Yao Chiji may also have been influenced by personal emotions. 
In his academic career in the United States, his wife Chu Fong played an important role in influencing and supporting him. Chu Fong has a clear understanding of the prospects for the development of the computer field, and she may also be an important factor in Yao Chiji's return to China. As for why the United States did not retain Yao Chiji, it may be because Yao Chiji had already made the decision to return home and had made sufficient preparations in terms of personal and family matters. In addition, American research institutions usually respect the personal choices of scientists and believe that they can continue to achieve outstanding achievements anywhere. In summary, Professor Yao Cheji's return to China is motivated by various factors, including patriotism and a sense of responsibility, and may also be influenced by personal emotions. The fact that the United States did not retain him may be because he had already prepared to return home, and American research institutions also respect the personal choices of scientists. For Chinese computer science research, Yao Cheji's return to China undoubtedly has important significance. His joining will promote China's research level in computer science and cultivate more outstanding computer scientists. At the same time, his return also sets an example for young researchers in China, inspiring their enthusiasm for scientific research. Yao Chiji's road back to China is not only an important decision in his personal career, but also an important event in the competition between China and the United States in science and technology. It reflects not only the rapid development of China in the field of science and technology, but also reveals the future trend of Sino-US technology. We look forward to seeing more outstanding scientists like Yao Cheji contribute to China's technological development in the future and jointly write a new chapter in Chinese technology. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. That's all for today's video, see you next time. Goodbye.